one common situation is we have to write bytes in a database and first error read these bytes again to our application. To this purpose, we have to use special data types in our database. Most common are blob or var binary types in case of MySQL database. So let's see in this video one example how we can use this blob type to write these binary objects in the database and how to use one programming language, in this case Java, to read and write byte values in the database. The example we have here, we have one table that is named messages. And this table, if you take a look in its data types, in the, um, this outer table window, we can see we are utilizing the var binary type to store binary values. It could be blob without problem. It will be the same procedure. OK, then the values are stored here as blob. And then what's the technique? When we have to interact with these values from a programming language, let's take a look here in the Java code, we have two situations. We have a situation where we want to write the value at the column. So look at this insert. Insert into the table message values, OK, with the prepared statement object. And now we are going to have to replace the values. OK, primitive types, long, no problem. But look, the third column, we use the set bytes method to store what? One variable that is from the data type, message ciphered here. It is one byte array. So we can store byte arrays in the database directly to the prepared statement. Um, object. So it's simple like that. We just set the, the byte array variable here in the set through the set bytes method and execute that on the database and then the value is stored um, here in the in the content column. Okay and now let's see how to read that back. You, we will have a situation where we have to read values from this table. In this moment, we have that in this another code here. And here we are going to perform a select in that table, uh, take our message to a certain user, reading just the content of this message, just the byte array that we have previously saved that. And then we just read that column value also, now not with the prepared statement, but in the result set object. The result set, that's the, the object that represents the, the records that have returned from one carry we have executed in the database. We can just um, read the entries for the blob column or the binary column using the get bytes method. Then it converts automatically that blob content to one byte array content. And now we have back the same value we have saved. So simple like that. So the last part of this video, let's see what this complete example running. What's this example? Here, we basically have one way to send messages uh, cifred to a certain user using its public key. And then the user can read back these messages that are cryptographed at the database um, using his private key to, to make the, um, the reversion of the cryptograph. So let's take a look at this example. In this case, now we have just one single, single value at this column, at this, this table. And now we have one use case of this application that we can, here, we can send messages to, to the, the user. So we set the user key, we set a, a message, then internally the database knows already the public key path for each of these users. So each are going to, to use the public key of this user to record this message at the database as a cryptographed byte array. So send that 
okay in this case the message had for authentication i have first to perform here my authentication okay here my credentials were not valid let's test again okay now with valid credentials let's try again to send this this message okay it's the, just the callback this function gives to us and now we have a new entry at this message table you see we have just inserted this new hole here now we are going to read all of these entries um, reading the, the byte array from from the database we have just executed this message with the set bytes and now we are going to to execute this code that will read the byte arrays from the database we'll read this content back so executing that in this case where is that it's here we have selected the private key of, of the user and then that is a, a, already here selected and we execute that and here the message we have just um, right in the database is here back in the application in the read messages use case of this application so we take a look in this video how to work with blobs in the database and how to to write that when we need we need to, to write byte array in the database to the preferred statement and how to read back these values with the get bytes method from the result set hope you have enjoyed this video this code is available below at the video description if you have any doubt please write down in the comments and thank you for watching